Hey, this is Justin, and I thought today I would review the new 37 Signals app for the iPad called Draft. It was just released yesterday, and it caused quite a stir on their blog. There's 136 comments, many of them complaining about the price. Now, Draft is a simple sketching app, and it's been compared to Microsoft Paint for the iPad and has, it has a lot of similarities to a free app from Adobe called Ideas. The price for, the, for, uh, for Draft is $9.99. And so there were a lot of people complaining about the price, and I thought, well, I'll just buy the app, and I'll, I'll review it for everybody and compare it to Ideas, and uh, people can make up their own minds. So here it is. It's going to be a little bit bit difficult to show you just with uh, my screen here but here's ideas and we'll start with that one there okay so I can create a new idea I think by clicking right here it takes me to a white canvas and let's just do a simple layout sketch and we'll add a little photo there a little sidebar and maybe a banner and then some text and you can change the color right here okay and let's add a button right here and a button right here okay so that's that at this point we can email it by clicking this and you type in the email address and you can click send and it sends it so that's ideas Let's go to let's go to Draft, which is the 37 Signals app, and you'll see it opens up, and um, it opens up right into the sketching. So there's only two colors to choose from, white or red, and the idea by 37 Signals is to make it really quite simple. And so we'll do this a similar sketch on here. I apologize if you can't see this. Filming a black screen is a bit more difficult. And add a couple buttons here. Now the big difference, that was they're pretty similar in that regard. Uh, 37 Signals has purposefully given you less options than the Ideas app. But um, the probably the biggest difference is if you are a campfire user because you can send it via mail like you can with ideas but you can also send this directly to a campfire room so if I click on that and then click on this design ideas campfire room it sends it automatically to that room so it's just it's done that now and we can even log in to my uh, campfire account let's see here I always just log in I have a bookmark for high rise and then I get to campfire from there okay so if I click on design ideas we'll see that the sketch has already been added there so it's pretty quick if you are maybe chatting on campfire and uh, you want to say oh here let me just show you you can sketch out your idea and bring it right in to campfire which is kind of neat the big question of course is is the price worth it and I think that really depends on how you're going to be using it. If uh, if you want just a simple sketching app and you want to be able to choose, you know, the width of your marker and have multiple colors to choose from, then Adobe Ideas will probably be just fine, especially if you just want to email them out from there. But where Draft really shines is if you're a Campfire user. It's the easiest way to get a sketch into Campfire. And I think for a lot of designers out there and, you know, other uh, firms that use Campfire all day. I think that this is a great app, and the price, uh, the price is really worth it for in that regard because you, you'll save a lot of time, uh, especially if you were scanning things before and and uploading them, you know, scanning them, uploading them to Campfire manually. I think in terms of like a workflow as you're chatting and sketching. Uh, it'll be a lot easier to share ideas and maybe even bounce ideas off each other. 
So I, I really liked it in that way. Uh, my one criticism of draft is there's only one undo step. It would be nice if you could undo multiple steps backwards. Uh, I hope they add that in the future. Uh, but other than that, I think the 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 price is irrelevant if it's if it if it's helpful. And uh, for a lot of businesses, this will be a business expense, and it'll be an expense that's well worth the ten dollars. So that's the review. If you have any comments, just uh, put them below. And other than that, thanks for watching.